Hello coders, welcome to Dave Byte Schools, uh, day 5 session of mastering in Spring Boot. So in this session, uh, we are doing a project setup. So finally, we come to our main part of our playlist is Spring Boot. Okay, so there is a multiple way to create a Spring Boot application. One is by using a Spring Boot initializer. Then another way is uh, by using Spring Boot CLI command. Okay, and one more way you can use ID also to create a Spring Boot application. So here we focusing on Spring Boot initializer uh, that is very easy tool to create a Spring Boot project. So let's uh, go to our Chrome browser. Okay. And type Spring Boot initializer. Okay. And click on the first link. So this is official website of a Spring Boot. Okay. So uh, first we need to select the building tool. So here we are using a Maven. Okay. After that, you need to select any language like Java, Kotlin or Groovy. We focusing on Java. Okay. After that, we need to select a Spring Boot version. Okay. So here we are selecting like 3.1.6. Okay. After that, group. Okay. Group is basically reverse of your domain. So our domain name is Dev Byte School is our domain name. And Artify is nothing but our project name. Okay. So we just give one project name as a blog. Okay blocks okay and after that um, uh, you need to give, give some description uh, like if you want uh, it is not compulsory so it is like a blogging website okay okay yeah after that uh, this package will be created like com dot uh, uh, your reverse um, reverse form of your domain and your uh, project name then you select a jar or war which you want to uh, select okay then you select a java version you can uh, uh, select uh, you can change any java version like java 1.8 or uh, 11 uh, when you download the pom file okay after that you need to add a dependency like here we are selecting first dependency is web okay where's web dependency help you help you to enable a restful web services after that we adding a dependency which is uh, mongodb because we integrate our Spring Boot application with MongoDB. After that, uh, some DevOps uh, tools to automatically re reload our application when you when we did any changes in a system. Then Actuator also, if you want to future if in, in future you want to integrate our application with uh, monitoring and alerting tools, we go for Actuator. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, required dependency we added. After that, you need to click on a uh, generate button okay after uh, click on generate button okay uh, the folder will be created now we open id you can use any id uh, which you are comfortable okay so i am using intellij over there okay after that uh, go to uh, our uh, git repo repository which we which we created for our uh, uh, this whole project okay just uh, click on code and copy that url okay and go to your uh, IntelliJ and click on uh, get from CSV. Okay, just paste your URL and just cl click on clone. Okay, after clicking on clone, automatically project build will start it. Okay, after that, uh, go to the downloads folder where you uh, downloads uh, uh, the whole project. Okay, and you just need to copy uh, two files. Okay, one is SRC and another is. Uh, a pom.xml file just copy that and go to your intellij and uh, just paste that file okay after uh, pasting that file um, just add that whole file to a uh, get okay load with maven so this is the main src folder so in main src folder main project over there that contain a java folder java contain all those packages which contain a uh, classes okay then resource uh, folder over there which contain a uh, properties uh, file static folder to store a uh, static information okay so here uh, we create uh, our uh, multiple packages as per our layer okay uh, this is test folder uh, if you want to write a uh, genuine test cases for your uh, rest apis you can uh, write this a test cases in this um, uh, test folder okay so let's create a requires folder for our project so first we create um, model classes okay model classes 
after that um, we create a um, uh, jpa uh, jpa package okay which contain uh, data, uh, data queries and all those stuff and after that uh, we create a um, service layer okay to write our all uh, whole business logic then we uh, create a, a controller package controller okay after that uh, we need to send a request and response in a json format so for this we are using uh, dto data transfer object okay after that we need to do lots of configuration like spring security configuration or a swagger configuration so for that we need some one like config package so we create one config package also okay after that uh, we you need to write some common code okay like uh, utils code so for that you uh, we will create one utils package yeah so we done with config controller dto jpa model service and util yeah that's pretty much uh, important uh, package we need to require for building any high class application yeah that's uh, pretty much about today uh, session okay let's meet on a day six session if you like our video please click on like button and share with your uh, friends and colleagues who have same text stack and uh, subscribe to our channel also uh, like when we upload a new video you get a notification of that that's it thank you so much